Hi there, I'm Josh Millward, Systems Application Engineer here at Danley Sound Labs and Product Manager of the DNA Series products. Today we're going to load the factory presets into a DNA 20K4 Pro amplifier. Loading presets into a DNA 10K4 Pro or a DNA SC48 is done exactly the same way. First, we're going to launch Podware. After you installed Podware on your computer, it should have created a shortcut on your desktop. Double-click that shortcut to launch Podware. Next, we're going to connect Podware to the network so we can see our amplifiers. Click the Online button, which is located here. Remember, if you are using DHCP and there is not a DHCP server on the network, you must wait for the online LED on the front of the amplifier to stop flashing before you can connect the amplifier. It takes about one minute after the network is connected, so please be patient. Now that we are connected to our network, we can see our amplifiers. We need to initially open the amplifier panel so that we can load the presets. Find the amplifier in the system view and double click on it to open the panel. You will note that the amplifier is highlighted in the system view when it is in focus in the main window. With our amplifier as the main focus, we need to go to File and choose Load Factory Settings. This will launch a typical Open File dialog box. You will need to navigate to the factory preset files. When you downloaded Podware, the factory preset files were included. Wherever you unzip the Podware folder, there will be another folder inside it called Loudspeaker Presets. Inside the Loudspeaker Presets folder, you will find the presets to be loaded in your amplifier. In this case, we are going to select the file for the DNA 20K4 Pro. You can either double click on the file or click on the file and choose Open to continue. A confirmation window will pop up asking if you're sure you want to continue. You must click OK to load the presets. Remember, this will overwrite data that could be stored in those same presets on the amplifier. The presets will now be loaded into the amplifier. Please wait until the confirmation message is displayed in the lower right corner of Podware to continue. Now that the presets are loaded, we can start recalling presets to suit the configuration of our system. On each output, you can select the individual loudspeaker that is to be used by clicking on the component recall combo box. You will be able to select the specific loudspeaker you wish to use on this channel. It is a good idea to reference the text document in the loudspeaker presets folder inside the Podware download folder to be certain that you are selecting the correct preset for your loudspeaker. In this case, we are going to recall the preset for the SH50 loudspeaker on channel 1 of the amplifier. Since the SH50 has a passive crossover, it only requires a single channel of the amplifier. Looking at the text file, it tells us to recall preset 22.1. So find preset 22.1 in the component recall list and click to select it. Repeat this procedure as necessary to recall the preset for any loudspeaker that uses a passive crossover. After clicking on the preset you wish to use, it should be shown in the Component Recall combo box. It is a different process to recall the preset for a biamp loudspeaker. You must use the Module Preset Recall in the Input section rather than the Component Recall in the Output section. Recalling a biamp preset will assign two outputs to one input and implement the crossover function between them. Please note, with all Danley Sound Labs biamp presets, the default configuration is to have the low frequencies on output 1 and the high frequencies on output 2. In this case, we are going to use input A with outputs 1 and 2. Click on the module preset recall combo box to drop down the list of available loudspeakers. For example, the SH-46 is preset 20. Click on this preset to select it. Note that the software has selected output 1 for the lows and output 2 for the highs. You are now ready to connect your loudspeaker to the amplifier and make some glorious noise. Remember, using the Danley Sound Labs provided presets gives you three things. It gives you comprehensive limiting for loudspeaker protection. 
it gives you crossover functions, and it gives you EQ points to get you started. This concludes loading and recalling the factory presets in the DNA series devices. I'm Josh Millward, the amp guy here at Danley Sound Labs. Thanks for watching.